one of the goats. You know what I mean? Two goats. Iron sharp and on. As the much-anticipated fight between Terence Crawford and Israel Medoff approaches, many boxing professionals have shared their predicted off moms for the upcoming bout. Following the fight's announcement, Terence has been receiving calls from almost everyone in the industry, including Teofimo Lopez and Jaron Ennis. Teofimo, who recently triumphed over Steve Claggett, is now hungrier than ever for a bigger challenge to further his goal of becoming one of boxing's greatest fighters. Um, I've called a number of his fights on the way up. Um, you know, he doesn't have that much pro experience, but he's got a tremendous amateur background. He's physically strong. He's a good size junior middleweight. He's super athletic. Consequently, it is not surprising that he has been persistently calling out Terrence for a match before he moves up to higher weight classes. He wants the money. Make up your mind, bro. If not, we gain the big dog, the Mac Daddy of them all, and that's Terrence Buck. Anything's possible with God. Anything. Anything is possible, man. God, I have God a lot of faith. Imposter. Yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> and God, with God, all things are possible. So I just look at it like that, man. We ain't, we never duck nobody, you know? Shit. It is what it is, man. But hey, to everybody, don't miss the fight. With no shortage of future opponents, Terrence remained calm and collected despite Teofimo's persistent comments. Teofimo, known for pushing other fighters' buttons, hasn't taken the hint and seems certain he will face Terrence in the future believing you will have no trouble defeating him. This is despite nearly losing to Steve Claggett, who is not on the same level as Terrence. Recently, Teofimo made a bold statement, claiming he will beat down Terrence whenever they meet, saying, I know Terrence Crawford is a good guy and a good fighter, but I'm better. I'll go right at him just like many others have tried and failed. After Teofimo's comments went viral, many boxing fans and professionals took notice, anticipating a response from Terrence. Not hesitating. This is the mandatory. He's calling you out now. Right now in my career, a lot of people like boost this, boost that, boost this. You know, um, fighting boost is a rule boost situation. I win, they're going to say, oh, well, he was young, he wasn't ready. You got the experience over. You got so much more than this kid that's never been tested before, you know, because we always seen them win a fashionable way, you know, to where we say, oh, man, he's totally skillful, but he's never been in the ring with nobody to test him. Me fighting boost is not a mega fight. I'm looking for a big I take anything away from boots, but where I am at in my career right now, all my eyes off to get to where I am. And I deserve it. Terrence took to Twitter to directly address Teofimo, calling him weak and accusing him of being all talk and no act Teofimo. He pointed out that Teofimo only won his recent fight by unanimous decision, writing, he talked all that about me and lost. Like I told him, focus on who you're fighting, not me. <laughs> sign a contract. <laughs> exactly, sign a contract. All, all, he, all he had to do is, is, is fight him and find out if he will. Now, Teofimo Lopez, back to the drawing board, you chum. Terrence also dismissed the idea of a catchweight fight, suggesting Teofimo was using his name for promo Teofimo. Amid the Teofimo controversy, Jiren Enos also challenged Terrence after his impressive win against David Alvanishin. Final one from both fighters, Israel. You've got a fantastic knockout record. Are you expecting to stop Terence Crawford? You know, this is boxing. Uh, but uh, uh, I try, I do. And Terence, not many people are seeing the final bell when they fight yourself. Is it almost just expecting that you do get the knockout as you always do? Well, I always tell everybody I never go in the ring looking for the knockout. But if I smell blood and it's there, get out of here. Good luck to both of you. August third, fantastic main event. Um, live as well from Los Angeles. This is the big one. Terrence Crawford versus Israel Majimov. Both fighters are going to face off. Back to you, Chris, in the studio. Terrence had previously criticized Jiren, calling him a cherry picker which Jiren didn't take lightly. In response, Jiren expressed his readiness to fight someone at Crawford's level, demanding a contract to make the fight official. 
Send a contract, exactly. All he has to do is fight me and find out if I'm world class or not. Jiren stated. Terence, however, seems uninterested in fighting either Teofimo or Jiren at this stage in his career. He aims for bigger and better fights, fearing criticism for choosing less challenging opponents. Addressing the calls to fight Jiren, Terence said, A lot of people talk about Boots, but fighting him is a lose-lose situation tell Feynman for me. They'll say he was too young or not ready. I'm looking for a big challenge, not a fight that will draw criticism. Moving past this drama, Terence is focused on his upcoming fight against the young star Israel Medoff for the WBA and WBO interim welterweight title. This high-stakes fight could earn the victor a spot in the Boxing Hall of Fame and a chance to fight the legendary Canelo Alvarez. Terence has been training hard with the help of Andrew Ward, a legend in the field, elevating his preparatel fighter to new heights. Your fighter today? Bud is definitely one of them, for sure. Tyke Shakur, Devin. Boots. Boots, Jeron, my favorite. It's, it's a lot of them, and, they, and they're skillful in different ways. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Somebody that like I can bet the house on is Bud, because me and him, we so much alike in our mentality. Like, soon, soon as I see this dude, he come in the room, or I come in the room, we start arguing. <laughs> about basketball, wrestling, anything, bro. Like, man, you can't, man, you looking small. What you mean I'm looking small? You looking small? You gotta really hurt that dude to turn him away and to try to stop him from doing what he want to do. So, skillful, yes. But this oh, and this, no. it's different, man. Oh. It's not a lot of guys like that out there currently. It's a lot of guys that talk it. But until you get in that real fire, I'm not saying a guy, you fighting a guy you should beat. I'm saying a guy that it's a 50-50 matchup. We don't really know what you have. You don't even really know. Terrence Crawford, a fighter from Omaha, Nebraska, is considered one of the best pound for pound boxers in the world. Currently the WBO welterweight champion. He has been a champion in three weight divisions simultaneously. Known for his impressive boxing technique and ability to defeat opponents regardless of their fighting style, Crawford is set to be challenged by Israel Medoff for the WBA Super Welterweight World Title on August 3rd. This fight is historical as it marks the first time a US fight card is run by the official in Saudi Arabia, Turkey Alishik, and promoted in Kaabaratel Feynman with Eddie Hearn. Medoff, coming off a powerful knockout in his last fight, is a high-risk opponent for Crawford due to his strength and unconventional fundamental fighting stance. Crawford's reasons for taking this fight are manifold, including winning a title in a fourth weight class and setting up a future fight with Canelo Alvarez. Eddie Hearn, the promoter, shared his views, calling this matchup bold and highlighting Midoff's strengths, such as his knockout power and tremendous movement. He described the bout as a high-risk, high-reward situate tough Feynman that could redefine Midoff's career trajectory. This exciting bout will test both fighters' readiness to compete at the championship level, with Medoff aiming to establish himself as a top fighter and Crawford looking to solidify his status and advance his career. Hone in, but you know, you can't, you can't um, criticize his skills, you know, his skills, his speed, um, it, it's unbelievable, but um, I don't know, I think that'll be a, a good payday for Crawford and he deserves it, you know, from all the stuff that he's been through, especially from different promoters and all that, and it's just...
When asked about his expected tough assignments for the fight, Mendoff expressed confidence in his ability to stop Crawford. While Crawford maintained his usual approach, not seeking a knockout but ready to capitalize if the opportunity arises, this fight marks Crawford's first as a junior middleweight after a series of title battles at 147 pounds, including a win over Errol Spence during July 2023. I'm the number one contender for the WBA. You know, once a person, once a boxer becomes a champion, they have to fight the number one guy. It becomes the mandatory. I'm the mandatory. If they're gonna skip over me, that's gonna, I mean, I'm, that's gonna be. F is it a good fight? Yeah, but I'm supposed to be the one fighting my job. When I heard that news, I was like, what the f like, that's supposed to be me. You know, a lot of fans say, uh, oh, how come we don't fight this guy, or fight this guy, or whatever, or, well, sh I'm trying to fight the best, but, I mean, you see that it's it's not up to me. It's, it's not under my control. Like, if it was under my control, I would have fought the world champions already at 140. I would have fought my 147. You know, it's, I'm, it's, it's kind of, I, it feels up. You know, I feel like I'm just, uh, just kind of on the sideline at this point. People are getting mad at me for not fighting the best move. Like, I'm not getting the upper Crawford took the bold step of calling in Andrew Ward for training before the fight, creating a buzz in the boxing world. Ward, a retired champion, is recognized for his defense, footwork, and ability to outpoint opponents. His training and sparring sessions with Crawford have fueled excitement among fans and critics alike. The boxing community, including Eddie Hearn and other fighters, have voiced their opinions on the upcoming fight. While opinions vary, many acknowledge Crawford's superior skills and experience, making him the favorite. However, Madoff's youth, strength, and knockout record make him a formidable opponent. This fight is highly anticipated with significant implicate defilements for both fighters' careers. Crawford aims to prove himself against a strong opponent, while Madoff seeks to make his mark by defeating one of the best in the industry. As the fight date approaches, both fighters are preparing intensely, promising an exciting and memorable event for boxing fans worldwide.